Yeah, it's a good question. I haven't seen uh, any data on it being in North Carolina yet. Some of the data that gives us the variance um, comes from CDC and it's a little bit behind as they gather that information. Maybe some of the call does something I don't know, but I haven't heard that. I think it's going to be one in a long line of uh, Greek lettered variants if we don't get people vaccinated. So I think it's probably similar to the Delta variant. I'm unaware that it's any worse at this point, but I think there's a lot of things we don't know about variants. Some of these variants have very similar mutations. Um, so while they got different, they have slightly different combinations of mutations, some of the mutations are the same between uh, variants. And because the combination is different, they're given another Greek letter designation. So um, you know, at this point, I, I think it's probably a similar story to Delta and, and what may come after this, which is uh, as we allow COVID to continue to smolder in communities or flare up, those viruses are replicated in people's airways and they're mutating. And the ones that mutate into something less contagious and less serious, those don't spread because by definition, they're less contagious. Uh, the ones that, that develop mutations that make it easier to infect humans or make it easier to spread are the ones that are gonna spread. It's just what's gonna, we're selecting out for those more difficult um, variants. Again, vaccine incredibly effective at preventing uh, hospitalization and death, um, even for the Delta variant. So uh, if I could make, wave a magic wand and make everyone in the community have antibodies to vaccination, you know, the pandemic would end. And that's essentially where we are, but we're letting it smolder which is you know, obviously tragic when you have uh, parts of the world begging for vaccine, and then we have a surplus of vaccine in, in the United States and, and not everybody is, is willing to get it.